guys welcome back I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today today we are going to be making some delicious chocolate sourdough brownies so let me show you everything you're gonna need and we will get started okay guys so we are gonna get started with some delicious brownies they are so easy so good so we're gonna start over here I've got some flour regular granulated sugar brown sugar and a little bit of salt I've got some cocoa powder yes I know that it is in a Christmas container but I have had cocoa powder in this container for many many years it was my grandmother's she kept cocoa powder in here so I guess it's just a tradition I don't know but that's cocoa powder I've got some vanilla my sourdough a stick of butter a few eggs and a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips now you can do um, dark chocolate chips if you prefer um, or a mixture of both but just as long as it's a cup of chocolate chips so I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys set up and we'll get started okay guys so I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees so if you hear a beep it's my oven um, I've got a little small saucepan here and I've just added my stick of butter in there. I'm going to turn the heat to low. I'm going to let this start melting. I'm going to go ahead and add in my cocoa powder. So that way it will combine a lot better and it won't clump up so I'm just going to go ahead and let this melt and combine I'm just gonna sit here and stir it until it's pretty much combined and there's no clumps okay so this is nice and melted it's there's no clumps at all and I removed it from the heat I just cut it off and now I'm just going to add in my chocolate chips I'm going to give this a stir and get those in there I'm just going to leave it alone and let the chocolate chips melt it should take about three to five minutes in the meantime we're going to work on the dry ingredients okay so the only thing you're going to do to the dry ingredients is mix these up until they're well combined and then we're just going to wait for the chocolate mixture to melt and then we will add everything to the dry ingredients okay guys so i've got my dry mixture all mixed together well i've got my chocolate mixture here and it is melted and nice and smooth and it's cooled down slightly so it doesn't cook my eggs I've got my eggs my vanilla my sourdough and we're just going to add everything into the dry ingredients and give that a mix My batter is completely mixed and it is nice and smooth everything is off the bottom there's no bits that are stuck to the bottom that's not mixed in so I'm gonna grab my dish okay so I've got my baking dish here it's an 8x8 you can also use a 9x9 inch baking dish 
And all I did was spray the dish itself, lined it with a couple pieces of parchment paper, and gave that a little spritz with some oil. And now all you're gonna do is add in your batter to your baking dish. Now, what we're going to do is just spread this out to the corners, make sure it's all even. Now from here, you can add pecans, walnuts, whatever you want. You can add some more chocolate chips if you want to. So now all I'm going to do is pop this in the oven for about 25 to 35 minutes, just until the center of the brownies comes out with a few moist crumbs because I still want the center to be nice and gooey I guess you could say um, so yeah I'm gonna put this in the oven and I will show you what it looks like when it comes out okay so these just come out of the oven and if you can tell I tested it right there and it come out slightly undone in the center and that's exactly what I want it's going to continue cooking as it cools, so it's going to be absolutely perfect in the center when it gets nice and cooled down. So I'm going to let these sit um, about 10 minutes or so in the pan, and then I'm going to remove them to a wire rack to cool completely, and then we will cut them up. All right, guys, this is what the brownies look like when they come out of the oven, and they are cooled, and they're cut into squares, and they are absolutely delicious i would store these in the refrigerator in a covered container but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys